my gosh, I look like a rough roadkill. <laughs> I look like I've been hit by a truck. I kind of smell like it too. Anyway, <laughs> so gross. What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Or if you guys are new here, hello, I'm Keaton. So today's video is just gonna be me getting into just a self-care day. Things that I do to make myself feel good, just feel better, and I also kind of want to get a little bit more into the holiday spirit. Not necessarily full on Christmas vibes, but I am ready to take my Halloween, my fall decor down. I just think that I'm over it. So I just wanna get cozy. I wanna put like fuzzy socks on, take a little bath, maybe do a face mask. I'm just gonna hop in the shower in a minute because this hair girl needs to be washed. But I thought it would be fun to vlog the whole process for you guys and just have a little self-care day. I feel like it's something that we don't necessarily take a lot of time to do in our daily lives, especially now we spend so much time worrying about everything that's going on in the world. And you know what? I just wanna have a nice day. I just wanna have a good self-care day and I just wanna make sure that I'm taken care of and happy. I literally just postmated food. I postmated pokey. That's not very like holiday, but I was literally craving it, so I was like, I have to have this immediately, so I'm ready to just get all my fall crap out of my apartment, so we are gonna do that today, and we're just gonna get a little bit of a holiday vibe in here, and we're also going to fix myself up because I'm not feeling the vibe today. While we wait, I'm going to open up some mail that I just went and picked up, as I said, so let's just get into this lovely PR. The first package we have is from Verse. It's a really, really amazing um, skincare brand. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. This is like actually a really cute like holiday gift set. This would be such a good gift. I know this is really bad, but a lot of times I will save PR and give it as gifts. This is the time to start planning that, people. But this is so cool. It is um, a clarifying serum, and then this little wand. I think you like freeze it or make it cold, and it's goes over your eyes and stuff. Maybe I'll use that today. And then this is the emergency eye mask. It has caffeine and cucumber juice. This is amazing. This is a really affordable skincare brand um, that you guys should definitely check out. Next brand is Lottie. That is the brand of this. I believe it's a makeup brand. Um, oh, and these are all brushes. It says the Lottie Toolkit. These are beautiful, guys. They're like, look, they're matte and ombre. Just saying another good gift I <laughs> like I always want to keep these things for myself but then I realize how much like makeup and skincare and brushes I really do have like these are so gorgeous though I'm like maybe I'll keep them the next package it's from the brand zit sticka so they have these zit sticks that you can put on your face and this is actually an hydrogel exfoliating sheet mask I don't know how a sheet mask would be exfoliating but Again, I'm having a self-care day, so this is perfect. I'll probably try this mask out, but basically, I think one side of it is exfoliating and one side of it is like refreshing or something like that. So we are gonna try that out later tonight. Oh my gosh. Ah! You guys know, I get so excited about Dermalogic products and we have, oh my gosh, these are like amazing holiday little gift sets. I'm not kidding. Okay, so the first thing we have in this little bundle is the um, Biolumin Serum and the um, Eye Serum, which is a really good set to have. Oh my gosh, this by Dermalogica, this is the Phyto Replenish Body Oil. So they have one for your face, which is amazing, and I love it so much. But the body oil, they actually have in a bigger size, and I've been using it after I get out of the shower. It's probably something I'll do today. Um, but this one is Bergamot, Ber Bergamot, is that how you say that? <laughs> Orange Blossom, um, and it smells amazing. I ordered this set from Set Active. So I got these sweatpants, they're in the color mint. And they're, oh my gosh, I don't have a pair of sweats from them. They're so thick and cozy. I love the waistband. It's like super stretchy and nice. Uh, do you have pockets? Yes, we have little pockets. Oh my gosh, and I got the matching crew neck. Oh, I'm going to live in this. I got it, I think, in a size maybe a little too big. What size did I get this in? I got excited. Oh, I got it in a medium. I think it's just oversized, but look at this. It's like perfect to be like super cozy in. 
Oh my gosh, these are so soft. I can't wait to cuddle up in these tonight and they're like green, so like Merry Christmas everybody. That is it for right now. I'm gonna see where my Postmates is at. I'm gonna grab some food. We're gonna eat and then hop in the shower, get ready for some self care. Now getting into my hair care routine, I'm using the natural formula Ampule Intense line, which is expertly formulated to restore damaged hair. This formula is seriously amazing, something I haven't seen at any other hair products before. So what they have is they have these micro ampules that really seal in the nutrients. So when you wash your hair, lather your hair, like how I'm doing right now with the shampoo, it releases the nutrients into your damaged hair. It really, really helps to leave your hair just really silky and soft and nourished. So I will either go in with a shampoo and conditioner or as I'm going in here, I'm using their hair mask. So I'll do this maybe two times a week and this just really gives it that extra nutrient it really helps revive my hair it helps my hair so much so i am just washing my body while i let that sit and then i will rinse it out so now i'm gonna go in with the ampule intense pro repair serum i love going in with the serum of course i am using it in the ends of my hair really focusing in i think this product works best in dry hair obviously i'm using it when my hair is a little bit damp but if you use it in dry hair and style it it looks absolutely amazing and all of natural formulas products are specially formulated for color treated hair you guys know I'm always dyeing my hair so this is super super important and it really gives you that salon quality but it is going to save you time and money so don't forget to check out the link in my description check out natural formula I guarantee you guys are going to love these products I just changed out of that tie-dye crew neck because I was like wait I have a whole new outfit to wear from set active so I just changed into the crew neck and the sweatpants i love them so much and i wanted to share one of my favorite things there's always random things that i do and i'm like i should share this with you guys i got this idea from lauren geraldo but she did in one of her videos she was saying how she always has really soft feet because she puts aquaphor like a bunch of aquaphor on her feet and then she puts cozy socks like fuzzy socks on or tight socks on to keep it like moisturizing this is the best um, lotion I've literally ever used in my life. It's Nivea Essentially Enriched 48 Hour Deep Nourishing Serum. This is the best lotion. I use it every single time when I get out of the shower and it's one of the things that I now do. I put it all over my body, but now I put it all over my feet because, you know, I saw that Lauren did that and ever since I've started putting like a bunch of lotion on my feet, I know it feels weird. I couldn't do the all before because it just seems like really greasy and I'm not gonna show you my feet cause that's freaking weird and I hate my feet so I'm not gonna show you guys what I'm doing but basically you just put a bunch of the lotion on your feet and then you get like tight socks or fuzzy socks, whatever you prefer and you just walk around in them and it helps seal in like the moisture in there and it just feels so good. Like I'm not kidding, my feet feel so soft when I do this. I have these little fuzzy socks right here. Oh my gosh, I haven't even worn them yet. I swear I have. Um, I have these little fuzzy socks. I'm gonna throw these on over my feet and make sure they're all cozy. My hair feels literally so nice. I'm not even just saying that. Also, literally hair oil after you get out of the shower, one of the most important steps. I'm not kidding. I know I just said that, but seriously, you guys should check out Natural Formula in the links down below because my hair is one of the most important things to me considering I dye it constantly and it's just always frying off. So having that extra moisture is amazing. So hair oil is bomb. Um, now I'm going to put on a face mask, which I just got at a PR. So we're gonna see how this, how this works. We have all of these sheet masks here. They're all the same thing, I believe. Oh my God. I hate pulling these out. They're like so, wet and gross but like like the texture of this is like actually stressing me out so much oh my god i'm gonna throw up oh my god okay it's fine everything's fine look how much i love how i'm like ew the texture and i'm literally about to put it on my face but it's fine these are so funny but i'm not kidding they actually do feel really good my hair is in the way Especially in the winter, like right when it starts getting cold and in Arizona, it's so dry. Leaving these little sheet masks on do wonders. There's also a bottom half. These never fit proportionately on my face. You always gotta like 
kind of layer one over the other. See how like the bottom half is so big, I have to like layer it over the top half. That's fine. I just shaved and exfoliated my legs and they feel so good in like a sweatpants and just like cozy clothes. Um, now what I'm gonna do for the next 20 minutes while this is on my face, we are going to get rid of the fall decor in here because it's freaking um, Christmas time, basically, in my brain. So let's get rid of all the pumpkins, all the little leaves and stuff that I have sitting around my house. Why is this not staying up? Please stay up. I'm not playing with you today. Guys, I am seriously dying at the fact that these are the three Christmas decorations that I have. I bought these at Target like last year and they're literally just these little gold like figurines. And the only reason I bought them is because there was a Corgi in the set and I was like, oh my God, Golden Corgi, I have to have him. But these are literally the only Christmas decorations I have and I took all of the fall stuff off as you guys saw, but I did change the video on my um, TV to like a snowy winter one just because I'm like, ew, let's pretend I'm not in the desert. And it used to be a fireplace when it was, you know, fall, but I felt like I wanted to go full on winter vibe, so I just changed it. Okay guys, it's time. Let's take this off. <gasps> oh my gosh. That, look how they stuck together so beautifully. That is the most satisfying feeling. Like. It actually feels so good. I know you're supposed to kind of like, after you take it off, rub it in or something like that. Just to like, you know, smooth it into the skin. But my skin actually feels so, so bomb. I am officially cozy on the couch right now. My skin actually looks so like glowy. You guys can see it just from that one little mask. It actually feels so freaking good. I also just put some aquifer on. I know I just said I don't like aquifer. I don't like it on my body. I love this for chapstick. Literally the best, like beyond any chapstick ever. I love the Laneige chapstick, obviously because of like the scent and stuff of it, but nothing works better on my lips than aquifer. I'm not kidding. Literally heals me like that. Um, but anyway, I am going to sit on the couch. I'm probably going to open up my laptop and go through a few emails. It is also a work day, so I think really like Self-care with me is just such a balance between taking the time to make sure that I feel good mentally and physically and just that I'm comfortable and I'm not overworking myself. And I think a lot of times with self-care, it should just come naturally. I mean, obviously there are things that you can implement into your daily life that can really make you feel better, but especially on those days where you really want to treat yourself like today, like taking a shower, doing the full hair care routine, doing the lotion, doing little fuzzy socks a little face mask like even just those little things like they take barely any time but they make me feel so much better and i think that it really is a balance because there have been times when i've been like you know what i'm not having a good day like i just need to get in the bathtub or i need to do this and where you force self-care onto yourself and then you're sitting in the bath for like 15 minutes and you're like oh my gosh i could be doing this i could be doing that so it really is just a balance of figuring out what can i work into my day that will make me feel more comfortable throughout the day um, while also not avoiding the things that i have to get done and i think that that is the best way that you guys can do it um, because like i just did I just took a shower, I cleaned up, I unboxed, I changed a few things around and now I'm like so comfortable. Like I'm literally just chilling in my little outfit. I've got my fuzzy socks on and now I have my phone just sitting on the charger. I've got my beautiful snow on the TV and it just makes me feel so good. So even though I do have to get on my laptop and do a little bit of work, um, it's fine. Because my body and like my mental state already feels taken care of, it doesn't feel like I'm stressfully working at night or doing whatever it feels good and i just love implementing these things into my daily routine i just feel so much better you guys i also really want to play a little bit of animal crossing but i am so invested in love island right now i'm currently on the uk season four 
I love Love Island. So I am watching right now, getting a little too invested as always, but there's so many episodes. It's the perfect show to just have playing while I like sit and do work. So that's probably what I'm about to do. I wish I had some like hot cocoa or something. I have matcha and I was thinking of like frothing some matcha tonight, but I don't really want to stay up. I don't really want caffeine. I just feel like I'm talking to talk now. So I'm going to sit here. I'm going to do a little bit of work and just relax, get my mind right. And then I don't know if I do anything before bed. I will show you guys. Good morning. I am in the car. I just went and picked up my Starbucks order. And I also picked up a bacon and gouda breakfast sandwich because I am so, so hungry because I have no food in my apartment. This is constantly happening to me. So what we're gonna go do is we're gonna run to Target. I'm probably gonna pick up um, some food, obviously, but I also really wanna get some Christmas decor. I don't know, I just wanna make my apartment like a little bit more festive and just fun. So I figured I would go to Target today. Let's just get it going. I'm feeling so good because I have Ariana Grande's new album on. I know you guys like wanted me to film a drive with me to it. I just like wasn't home when it came out, so kind of not possible and now I just feel like everyone's like already listened to it and stuff so maybe I will maybe I won't I might just film a TikTok listing off like which are my favorite and least favorite but that is probably the most that I will do I just had this thought and I was thinking about it and I was like I wonder if this is a normal thought process for other people but if you get I get like so anxious when I go to certain spots and like the people working there talk too much to me I know that's like so mean but I think it's just like the social anxiety in me that is like please 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 do not talk to me and it steers me away from going back to certain places so like there's this one car wash I always go to and the guy is always talking to me and asking me all different kinds of questions and I know this is mean but like I'm just like I want to just get my car washed like I don't want to talk and it's not that I'm like trying to be rude it's that it literally gives me anxiety when they start speaking to me and asking me things like it makes me worked up like I don't like it so it steers me away from going back to certain places is anyone else like that because I know for a fact that I am like that I also used to go to this like camera equipment place and like rent things and the people there like there was this one guy there and every time I would go on he would always be working it was like an older man and he would just always ask me so many questions about like what am I filming for and what am I doing and what's my job and like all this kind of stuff and I like hated it so much so I stopped going back to that camera place and I'm like is that normal like I don't go to the same car wash anymore I will change like targets based on like if I've had an experience with someone there that has like talked a lot <laughs> to me that is so bad saying it out loud but it really does stress me out it's the same with like ubers like i feel like i have a bad uber rating because when i get in ubers i'm like too anxious to talk to the driver and i don't want them to ask me questions because i just know i'm gonna be really short oh it's actually so horrible but i need to know if anyone else is like that because i is it actually insane that i change the places that i'm going to like target and the car wash and the camera place because of people that talk to me i don't know i don't know if that's a thing but it is a thing for me <laughs> one bang that keeps falling because it looks like I don't know I hate it okay I'm gonna show you guys a few of the little Christmas things that I picked up at Target okay I hate my life um I'm so dumb because none of these things go together so just like I don't talk about it I just like them okay I bought a gold <laughs> a gold reindeer this is actually so cute and just a little tip if you guys go to Target so like in the front sections where I got like all this other stuff where there's like opal house all the like nice brands there are like little reindeer but they're like expensive and they're 20 dollars. if you go in the very back where there's like outdoor decor and stuff like that they have five dollar ones so buy the five dollar ones because like who is gonna spend oh twenty dollars on a reindeer no thank you this one is of course plastic the other ones were like nicer material but whatever i thought that was cute and then i really wanted a christmas tree but like oh my god what is that it's like 
I don't know, but I really wanted a Christmas tree and um, I saw this one, they had a bigger version of it, but I was like, where am I really gonna put a bigger Christmas tree? Let's just get this little baby one. And it has these little cute ornaments on there, so I thought it was cute. And then I bought some um, new scented soap. I love foam soap, it's my favorite thing. So I got this one and it's Santa's Cookies. I haven't even smelled it yet, so it could smell trash, but. Oh no, that smells good. I knew it was gonna smell good. Santa's cookies, like, hello. Okay, and then I got two different candles, but they look like the vibe I'm going for. So this one looks like a Christmas tree. They have it in other colors, and the lid just comes off, and then it's a candle. So you can like set this out, and it's a candle, but then you also have the Christmas tree. It smells really, really good. This one's my favorite. This one is this really pretty like silver candle, and it is vanilla gingerbread. Oh yes, it smells so good. I always hate buying candles from Target because they just don't hit the same as Bath and Body Works ones, but I just, I'm not gonna go there. I'm not gonna go there. And then this thing, I have absolutely no place to put this or like no reason for it, but I just thought it was beautiful. It's literally this like glass little Christmas tree. It just very much goes with the overall like vibe of my apartment. It has little gold on the bottom and then you're supposed to put like a LED light underneath here. I don't really have those, but I just thought it was gonna be cute as like decor. Uh, but yeah, those are all the Christmas things. That, oh, and I picked up garland. So I was thinking to put this red and green on my media stand where I had my old like fall leaves and stuff. So I'm thinking that this will be a cute look. I really don't like to buy a lot of, I, I've said this when I decorate for like Halloween, fall or whatever, but I really don't like to buy a lot of Christmas decor just because um, I never really stay here for Christmas. Obviously, I'm always with family, so it's just kind of pointless. Like, I decorate my apartment, and then I'm here for a week, and then I leave. So, that's why I only bought minimal things. I literally bought garland. I bought two candles, a freaking deer, and a Christmas tree. I don't really get anything else relevant. I got, like, creamer, oat milk, things like that. But I really just want to show you guys all the Christmas stuff that I got. Because look at me, <laughs> my little deer. I'm going to try and set these things up. Um, some more somewhere cute around my apartment and we'll see how they look together. I am about to show you guys the Christmas decorations, but I do have a call with Nat. Oh, I think she just texted me. I have a call with Nat right now to talk about some twin flames work and stuff like that. So we're gonna have a quick phone call, figure stuff out and it's gonna go really, really well. And then I'm gonna show you guys little Christmas decor I have because I'm actually looking at it like this is the cutest thing I've ever seen. It's just so subtle and nice, so I'm very thrilled about it. If it was small and cute, like imagine if you're like holding a coffee cup and it's like right there, it's cute, right? I agree. That's what I want. I want something in here so bad. Yeah, like I saw, I saw something the other day and I really like the embroidery. It's gonna be this one, this. Oh, I love it. And then, yes, it's cute, right? And then we're gonna have this font, and then we're gonna have it going down the sleeve. Look how cute this is. I put all my little holiday garland on here with my little, look at my little corgi and my things. Okay, cute, and then we have, you know, a cute little reindeer. He is just stunning over here, I love him. Okay, and then over here on the dining table, I just put this little, I don't freaking know. I just put this little glass thing. It actually looks really cute. It's hard to tell that it's cute on camera, but I really, really like it. I think I might change out this candle to a smaller one next to it, like a just one like this height or something, but I just set it here for now. And then over here on the little like countertop in the kitchen, I always like to place just a little something so it looks like cohesive. So I put the Christmas tree candle right here. I'm about to light one of these because my apartment needs to be, needs to be, needs to be smelling festive. And then the last thing I did was I put my cute little Christmas tree in my office. Why am I not able to speak? I'm like speaking so weird, but I thought this would be cute here just because I always film with this as a backdrop. And it actually looks really cute in here just because it's not a green Christmas tree. It's like a little gold moment. I don't know. I thought it was adorable. So that's gonna be there. That is my holiday decorating for today. That is my just holiday spirit that I'm feeling. I am about to film a little TikTok today and just kind of get ready and fix myself up just a little bit because I feel like I'm just super productive today after having a nice little self-care day yesterday. I just feel so productive and I just feel good. I feel refreshed. Also, my skin this morning, not kidding, 
feels amazing for my little skin mask and my hair feels like I, I mean like you can just tell the difference from what it freaking looked like yesterday when I saw you guys it was looking a hot mess and you can just see like it is so clean and soft now like shout out natural formula because my hair was looking rough and now it's looking so much better. I am just gonna continue filming for the day, doing work. We've got lots of Twin Flames meeting, but I just wanted to bring you guys along. Me getting into the holiday spirit, doing a little self-care. I feel like I really, really, really needed that yesterday. Um, so thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you guys are new here, don't forget to subscribe. You guys can hit the red button down below. And don't forget to check out Natural Formula down in the description box. I swear you guys will love it. And I know you guys are always asking for tips and tricks, and it is a great way to implement to your self-care routine so i think you guys will really really love it but thank you guys so so much again for watching and i will see you guys next time bye